Oh man, the energy in this home is just so divine. I'm like walking around and really feeling it and enjoying it. Right now I have all the fans and lights running, all the doors, all the windows open. What I just used was um, some sage and now I know people say uh, not to use or purchase sage because of the Native American shortage. Now, the exception and to the rule is if you purchase from them, which I did. And this was the last of the sage um, that I had. So I, I did need to actually buy more. And I was just buying some more um, props for videos. I'm very excited. Um, I was even taking a look at Mark Bajerski because um, I've been thinking of buying more of his crystals, maybe his books. Maybe his tarot cards. He has limited edition tarot cards. Not sponsored, but I, I just... Um, I love the guy so much. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm all for it. And his products. I promoted his Palo Santo with Moldavite many years ago. And you guys just, like, channeled to his website. So that was awesome. I love helping people. Um, that was when he was just getting his name out there. And so, I was, you know, I really wanted to promote his stuff. And um, uh, look what he's doing for himself now. He has like probably thousands of crystals in his shop and some of them are like $15,000. Like, whoa, Moldavite, Museum AAA Moldavite. Museum grade. Hi, Paco. But when you sage, make sure you put your pets aside, like one room or like I put Poopsy away as well. But also while I'm saging, I kind of like, you know, it's a universal kind of cleansing. So I'm like, Yes, you know, like, we're cleansing not only every everything in the space, but myself included, any inhabitants included. Um, but I go outside separately. And, and I'm just walking around because I want you to pick up that good energy. I want some of that good energy to be picked up through this phone as well, you know? So I'm just walking around my home and just allowing you to absorb that good energy. Because I, I let it circulate now for half an hour. All the doors, windows open. So the good energy is here. You know, I, I got all the bad one out. And I had to do it because make sure you open your closets as well. Because, you know, it's it's been a while. It takes so long because it's such a big house. So I only do it like once every couple months. But man, does it feel good. It just gets all those sessions you did out, like Reiki tarot, like any attachments you know i wish sometimes i can go up in the attic too maybe i should hire someone to do that because i'm terrified of spiders it's gonna be a no from me <laughs> oh i forgot the garages okay well i'm gonna go in the garage as well because i also do the garage everything everything i go outside the perimeter of the home the perimeter of the property and i have i own two properties here so like i went around those as well protected cleansed Let's go outside. My neighbors probably think I'm smoking something. <laughs> but it's okay. Let, let bygones speak bygones, I guess. Right. But anyway, you guys, that's that. Yes, I really want you to get a good sense of the energy because I live kind of in an area where it's like forested and you know, it's not really many people here, so. It's kind of like, is what it is. I love the nature. You know, I go around there in the perimeter. I go around here, all over. I just, you're probably feeling it now too. I went on the street and I just, like after I'm done doing that, I go shoo them like here in the front. I go shoo, shoo, shoo. I open the door and shoo out the negative energies. Then I go on the street and I go shoo, shoo, shoo. And I shoo out the negative energies. So I'm just wanting you to absorb all of this right now in this gracious moment in time, just like, absorb even the, the sunlight oh, the cloud just covered it now but it, it's been s shining down and beaming and you protect even the windows even the garden even the, anything anything all the plants they need that loving protection and you know just like hold hold the greenery there's something so healing about it i remember healer told me once that i went to by the way healers are expensive but they're so worth it he said, you know what, you, Tony, you should like walk barefoot. I, I don't know about here because either there's dog poop or there is um, ants. And I've been bitten by ants so many times, so I don't want to risk it. But 
He said, walk barefoot on the grass. And I did that. I should actually do that more often. Okay. And there's something so healing about that. Okay. And not just with your flip flops, but even the greener of the plants here, like just, just embrace them. Just, you know, hold on to them like this. And there's something about it. Like I, sometimes I just grasp them. Like after I rake it, I actually come out here and there's something about this tree. I'm more connected to this tree more than all of them. And I just grasp and I, I say my prayer and I say my thanks. And there's something about it. it just like pulls that negative energy I may have grasped onto out of my hands. You know, you want to be careful because of um, ivy that may be poisonous, right? So um, make sure you know what you're doing. And I go all around. All around and I just send this loving divine energy. To all the trees, all the plants, all the life, everything, everything needs it, not just you. I call this the snake tree. This is where the the snake was, remember? And I just say my thanks, I say my prayers. You know, watch out for snakes as well when you're stepping. You just pick up on this good, divine, abundant source of energy. You just pick up on this. You just give your thanks. And you say you protect the home with the seal layer protection. And I told you guys a while ago, I actually have permanently buried four clear quartz point, oof, and many lizards as well that <laughs> are skittering by um, in each corner of the property. Mm -hmm. So it's like a permanent seal layer protection. And then after you go around and bless the entire perimeter, which I'm walking, it's very long as well. That's why I say it takes a while, you know, so you do all of that, come back inside. And then you actually, what I did was inside the home and outside as well, I put um, blessing oil. So I bless every doorway and window entrance, inside and out. Turn off all the lights, close all the doors. Bada bing, bada boom, you're all done. I'm gonna wait here because I have to, um, Turn off the garage lights as well. There we go. Everywhere. And a lot of times I go back and repeat the same spot over and over again, especially if I'm feeling like if the sage starts to burn out, there's something bad. I'm surprised it didn't at all. Either I lit it very good. I even opened my dryer, my laundry. Like I washed my clothes here, so I want the energy to be good here as well. <sighs> so, oh my God, I'm like walking and I'm like, Yes, thank you, Jesus. And you have the air running. Oh my God, it's like 80 degrees now because it's hot outside. Um, and then you just close all the doors and windows, which I'm gonna do after I put the phone down. But yeah, blessing oil, every corner. You probably see it there. It's like a little yellow mark, just like boop, boop. I had to clean the windows as well. Um, but always open the front door after and just shoo them out, give it a minute. And then you can close it again. And sage is not only good for that, but for like parasites in the air, bugs, bacteria. It's very good even to, to breathe. So my whole neighborhood is probably like <laughs> inhaling the good energy and the fumes. And you know, it, it's very, very good for the home. Okay, you need the fans to circulate so that everything can be out. All the fans, even the, the, um, the bathroom fans that just suck the air that don't blow it around, you need that too. Everything that just gets sucked out, although, and it's good it's a windy day because it can actually suck it out easier. Some days it's harder to suck out, it takes longer. So I ordered some, uh, actually I'm going to order some for Mark Bajerski, the uh, Palo Santo. Cause uh, it's good to save yourself, but I need some Palo Santo, it's been a while. So uh, anyway guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the good, happy, positive energy. I hope you felt all parts of it in this home. Okay, it, it just feels really nice, especially when you get new things like furniture. You got to sage those too. Any new things, like I got the new statue, I sage those too. You know, like any, all my equipment that I work out of, I say thank you. I give my thanks, my blessings, my prayers. All the closets you go in and out, doesn't matter if there's clothes there, it'll circulate and ventilate and dry. See, I have all the fans going. Everything, all the showers, entrances, everything. Make sure every window's open. You gotta get everything out. Cover everything. Cover everything with the smoke of the sage and billow it, okay? If you really uh, care about uh, your natives, 
please don't buy non-native sage. Instead, buy something like myrrh, cedar, frankincense. Um, you know, you, I guess you could use sea salt as well for cleansing. Like right now I have sea salt going in my studio because this is where I work out of and this is where the most energy needed to clear. And like I said, I was surprised. Like it didn't actually burn out in this room, but I put salt in all four corners as well. Okay. Pure coarse is preferred, but I'm using fine right now because I'm fine. No, I'm joking. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was enjoyable and you just felt the good, blissful, peaceful energy with me. Take care, guys. Bye.